Hi there, I'm Rebecca and a really warm welcome back to my channel, Pumpkin Becky. In this week's video, we're going to be taking a look at my dahlias. Let's get started. I've had some lovely comments from people asking if they can see more of the garden, not just bonsai. I know it's been very heavily focused on bonsai just lately. The problem I've got right now is that it has been so dry and so hot that actually a lot of the garden is in trouble. We did have a really good wet winter, so we're not in a drought situation but the water companies are starting to ask people to be more considerate of what they're using water for. I use saved rainwater for my carnivorous plants, but our big water butt is running quite low. I have another much smaller water butt, but if this dry spell goes on much longer, I'm going to be in trouble. The square foot beds where I have my vegetables are doing really well. The soil mixture in there seems to say quite cool and moist so I'm not experiencing drying out in the way that I am in containers and the normal raised beds around the garden where my ornamentals are. I grow my dahlias underneath the pergola and the pergola has got quite good cover from grapevines so they are very shaded as you can see but they are all growing in containers so I do have to water them. I make sure I do that either very early in the morning or very late at night and I'm talking half past nine, ten o'clock. <laughs> I just, I can't even remember at this point when we last had rain. Plants that have been in the ground for much longer and are really well established are faring much better than those that are newer planted or quite shallow rooted. We also have roadworks happening right on the road just oh, yards away and it's so noisy. I, I hope you're not picking up too much of it on the microphone um, and I hope I don't have to do too much editing because I keep pausing to let the traffic go by. <sighs> it's 10 weeks of this. So I did get some new varieties of dahlia, new to me anyway. Uh, this one is Thomas Edison. It's supposed to be a dinner plate dahlia, but you know, it's not as big as you might expect a dinner plate dahlia, but then I haven't overfed it and I mean it's in a pot so it probably is going to be slightly smaller flowered than once grown in ground. It is rather beautiful though the centre is really deep dark purple and the tips of each petal fade out to palest lilac. This is a collarette dahlia called night butterfly and oh my goodness it's beautiful the collarette are these pretty little white petals which are around the center stamens and i love the intensity of that purple it really it's almost burgundy purple this is my mysterious pinky purple cactus type i i do not know what variety it is the pompon dahlias, the white ones, have been flowering for weeks. They are so far ahead of everything else. The others have only just started really flowering in the last week or so, and I've been able to pick some flowers, but the pompons have been going for about a month. This red one is an interloper. Uh, you've probably noticed I don't really use red or orange or yellow particularly in my garden unless it's springtime so where this red dahlia came from I have no idea and look at last I have cafe au lait in leaf not in flower yet but in leaf and looking strong and I've got my fingers crossed that I might get 
at least one flower from it this year. <laughs> I can hope. The most important thing to keep dahlias flowering is to deadhead them. We're looking for buds like this, which are elongated, the petals have already dropped. If your bud looks like this, where it's round and tight and like a button, then that's one that's due to come out. It hasn't flowered yet. Don't cut that off. Look for these long, slightly soggy looking ones. And don't just take the flower off. Go right back to the junction where the next leaf is coming from the stem. I'm feeding with a granular slow release fertilizer. And I'm also using sort of alternately a normal liquid tomato feed and that combination really should help with flower production I think what I might do is like dahlia of the day and take photographs of ones which are flowering particularly beautifully and um, yeah hashtag dahlia of the day I might do that here, maybe on my community posts and also on Instagram. So join me there. Right, that's it for this week's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, share and subscribe to me here on YouTube. And until next time, bye.